it is Jericho welcome back to my channel so I'm doing a quick or a try to be quick get ready with me um, it's for, currently 412 I need to be done by 5 um, so yeah I've already started my eyebrows and then I realized that I was just gonna explain to y'all what I'm doing so what I did was I started on my eyebrows Ooh, my eyelashes are wet and I'm just making them even going back and forth from brow to brow you guys already know this is part of my routine and I try to keep my mirror out the frame but when I do my brows they absolutely have to be in the frame because I need my mirror to be close for me to be able to work my magic so if y'all hate seeing the mirror in the screen I do apologize but this is literally like the only way I can do my eyebrows and make sure that they're even And I'm using the Morphe gel, I mean the Morphe brow cream or whatever. Yeah, the Morphe brow cream in chocolate mousse. And I'm sorry I'm sounding so congested. I'm getting over a cold. I thought I had COVID again, y'all. Like I was freaking out. Um, cause I woke up Thursday morning with a sore throat, stuffy nose, um, headache. And I'm like, oh, so I didn't go to work obviously because I'm like, if this is COVID, I don't need to be going to work. And, um, so I went and got tested on Friday because Thursday you literally couldn't find anywhere. Um, Friday I was already, was almost not able to find anywhere because literally everybody, and they mama is trying to get a COVID test right now. Like, I got up early in the morning on Friday and was like, I'm gonna be the, one of the first few people at urgent care. No, sis. When I pulled up to urgent care, there was already a line of like 40 people, which means they probably got there at like 7.15 in the morning. And I was like, I was not prepared. Like, I was not prepared. I did not know it was gonna be a line of 40 something people at urgent care at eight o'clock in the morning. So I was trying to explain that to my job, like literally everywhere I tried to go, everywhere that I was doing COVID tests, either required an appointment or at 8 a.m. they were already like, it's too many people, like we're not doing it anymore for the rest of the day. So it's like, ugh, it just sucks when you work a job who really just don't even care, or I don't even say the job, when you got a manager who just don't seem like they care about your life, all they care about is if you're at work helping them get their numbers because I guess they get bonuses and stuff I don't know but that's another story we're not even gonna talk about it because I get angry just thinking about it and it's like I'm not going to work sick I'm not if you got an attitude then you just got an attitude like that's that's between you and the Lord because I don't know what you got going at home going on at home but it ain't got nothing to do with me all right you guys so I'm back so to prime my lids I'm gonna use my huge which is the Too Faced board in this way and this isn't gonna be like anything super spectacular today because I really just I'm just going to uh, do my lids just something cute and sultry date night makeup oh, oh, oh. I always do that some like cute sultry date night look. makeup on my new ones that you guys I finally got rid of my forever lazy and I'm using my new savage Fenty sweater I mean onesie so for this look, I'm going to use the Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette, and the color I'm going to use, I'm going to go in first with Burkina. Uh, I'm just going to like blow that shade out and then go in with Fulani, and then go in with a pretty gold shade and call it a day. Like, I probably have done a look like this a million times. Sorry, my mic turned around, I didn't even realize. Yeah, I've probably done a look like this a million and one times, but here we are.
So I just realized that my mic was not on while I was saying some of those things that I was saying, so I apologize. But anyway, now I'm going to go in with my second shade, which is Fulani, and I'm going to use the Morphe M441 brush and concentrate this on the outer V of my eye, even though this brush is kind of big. Because in this, in this palette, these browns look different. So you got this brown here and then this brown here. So they look different. They don't look the same color, but now that I'm doing it, it's like, I guess I thought it was going to be a lot deeper than it's showing up. Anyways, for the next shade, I'm going to go in with is a shimmery shade. I kind of want to go in and use Chaga from the Juvia's Place Tribe palette, which is this pretty gold in the middle. Alright, so this is all I'm doing for my eyes because we are on the fail bus today. So, this is what I mean. Like, when I try and do a simple look without cutting and carving and really being strategic, it never comes out as pretty as everybody else's. But everybody else will be on here just randomly doing just whatever, just slapping on shades, and it looks fine. And I'm like, I don't understand. I don't want to always be a person who has to really be strategic with every look for it to look right. Why can't I just, I don't know. But anyway, what I'm gonna do is do some wing liner. I'm not gonna do like wing liner. I'm just gonna put a, like a dash of eyeliner, put on my lashes and I will be back. All right, now that I'm done with my eyes, my basic eyes, I'm going to prime my face and use a Perlis Matcha Green Tea Antioxidant Moisturizing Primer. This is a really good primer. I haven't had to buy any more of this because I really only use it when I'm like really going somewhere. And I try not to use it just for videos because it's really good and it's expensive. <laughs> so I got that in my skin. And for primer, I'm going to use what I normally use. Why is this? It's always one lash that wants to start lifting in the corners. I don't understand. So for a primer, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Primer. I really need to go to Sephora and get uh, another Fenty Beauty foundation and another one of these primers because it's freaking amazing. Now for my smile eye, I'm going to try and do the little trick that I've been watching people do. And I'm going to put this on and pat it in really well and then do my foundation and immediately set it. All right, so for under my eyes, I'm gonna do the same thing I normally do. The Born This Way Too Faced Concealer. And then I'm going to go in with the ColourPop No Filter in Dark 42, with well, Dark 40 right on top. And then to contour, I'm going to use my Juvia's Place Stick Foundation in Cameroon, which is this right here. Thank you. 
No, I'm not gonna do anything else. So I don't know how much was caught on camera. Um, I hate when I can feel my scarf sliding back. But anyway, so now I'm going to set my face using my Beauty Bakery flower powder in yellow. You guys already know this is my go-to powder. It's it's just amazing. If you don't have it, you should go get it. All right, so I'm gonna bake for a minute. I usually don't really bake like when I'm just doing videos for fun. But since I'm actually going out. Um, and I'm wearing a mask. It's like I need to, even though I know none of this is transfer proof. Like it is what it is. So I'm just going to have to, but I'm going to let this sit for a minute. So I will be back. All right, you guys. So I've let this sit for like two minutes. I'm going to wipe it off with a Ruby Kisses large powder brush. Our face is a little powdery right now, but that is okay. That's how I want it to be because I don't want my makeup to move. To kind of get rid of some of this brightness, I'm gonna take the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in Mahogany, which is also deep, and just press this into my skin. Everywhere I already applied powder, basically. I'm just gonna press this in to kind of get rid of a little bit of brightness and just like blend everything together. You'll see in a minute. So that is done, I can put that away. So now I'm gonna go in with bronzer. And I think for bronzer today, instead of using the, uh, what I normally use, the Fenty Beauty, uh, I'm gonna go back to my go-to, which is the Morphe Trailblazer bronzer. And this is my favorite bronzer, because it's big, it lasts a really long time, and it's just an amazing bronzer. Like, if you don't have it, get it. I really need to find a better brush to apply it with though. All right, so now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna apply a little face mist from the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I can't even talk, just to add some life back to my face. I really like this stuff because it's a super light mist. Like it doesn't feel like when I first bought it, I'm like, dang, is it coming out? Cause like it's so fine that you don't even feel it at all. So I was legit confused for a minute. I'm like, like do I need to go buy another one? But nope, it's just that light. You can't feel it. All right, so now that that mist is setting in, like it just made my face, I don't know if you guys can tell, but like it just made my face like so smooth. It really took away the powdery look. That's why I don't mind loading up on powders because for one, you need the powders if you really want your makeup to stay. And two, when you once you do the setting spray, everything is fine all over again. So for my lower lash line, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. I guess I'm just gonna go back in with the same color Fulani. If you guys have any drugstore mascaras you recommend, let me know because I'm kind of over that one. So I'm done with my face. I can just do a little bit of highlighter, which I think I'm gonna use my glow kit because I haven't used this in a long time. 
and I want to put a little bit on my inner corner I'm gonna go back in with that shade from the Juvia's Place palette um, Chaga and put it in my corner And for my lips, I'm going to do the normal, my uh, ColourPop BFF3, and I'm going to go in with gloss. I think I'm going to use a little bit of this Madeline gloss and some gloss from uh, Pretty Glam Cosmetics, which is this brown new gloss. Let me use this first. Okay. See, that one's already making its way out. And then use this gloss on top. All right, this is the finished look, you guys. What do you guys think? So what I'm going to do is uh, get my little ponytail and put on my dress, and I'll be back. So I was talking this whole time, and I wasn't even recording. Anyway, so this is the finished look. I went with this eye look because I knew it was going to match my dress. So this dress I got from Pretty Little Thing. Um, this watch is JVW. This gold bangle is from Amazon. Earrings, LV. Necklace, I don't know where I got this from. I think it was Charlotte Russe or something like that. Um, and then my ring, of course. And this ponytail is the Perm Yaki ponytail in 24 inches. And this ponytail is long. Long for me, anyway. It's not super long, but it's long. But I thought this would be cute for this dinner date. So I apologize. My mic is not on for this part of the video i just realized that i'm not recording it's always something it's always something so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and don't forget to follow me on my instagram which is jerica.sincere i will have it here and down in the description bar but that is it for this get ready with me so i hope you guys enjoyed and have a good day